use the uh, high noise from this super busy street that I live on. Um, again, I'm revisiting my uh, uh, intake boot couplers, as they call it, uh, for the air box, and, and it has to do with the catch can. This is the Mishimoto catch can. My Mishimoto catch can is not running to this, uh, to this, um, I gotta remember my terminology, uh, where this connects to the cylinder head, to the EGR, EGR valve, or, uh, and sp supposedly recirculating not only oil from, from this head into the can, but it's supposedly this one is, uh, is some, some catch can manufacturer is saying that this one is spitting out oil where I have information that is saying otherwise. Let me turn my flash off. I'll just leave that running, I guess. Um, from my earlier taking my air box apart and testing it, uh, cleaning it and looking at it and inspecting it, I saw, I saw zero oil, if not maybe half a percent or one percent, probably some dirty air, um, you know, not oil content, but, you know, maybe just something to do with a little bit of dust. This is on the inside where the oil would be coming out and going into the turbo, going into the turbo this way, oil coming out this way, flowing into the turbo coming out this way. And we will see, this is a clean cloth that there's no oil content. It's just kind of a black sooty, um, you know, it's just not as clean as the white rag was once was, but uh, I'm not seeing any oil content um, whatsoever. So catch can manufacturer telling you you need to buy a new catch can version um, is I think a little deceptive. I mean, it seems like you would have tested this before you made a catch can um, to get people to buy it for a reason and not just tricking them into thinking there's a reason so that they'll spend more money with your company. I mean, that's the only way I can look at it. I mean, I hate to be harsh or, you know, come across as, you know, negative negativity, but, uh, and I'm not even going to be able to get this down into, Let me look in, and let me look in the light and see if I can see any oily residue in this in this hose and I'll be right back. Let me see if I can even see right here well. I'm gonna go inside where I have more something to stick down in there and see and come back and see if I can even see any amount of oil residue collected in this hose. It's got to flow down this hose and into the coupler, into the coupler and then out through into the turbo. Other than dust. I see absolutely zero residual of any oil flowing. Um, does that mean the oil is flowing and not touching any of the surfaces? And it's just going directly in and staying in the air and not touching anything surface wise and then flowing into the turbo? You know, I'm not, 
you know, a specialist that can tell you that, but in the real world, I'm not seeing any oil residue, and I have driven the car pretty hard. It's been driven at the track. It's been driven from zero to 140 about three or four times. It's been driven from 20 to 120 uh, two or three times. Um, and it's got about a thousand more miles on it. And, you know, that leads me to say that there is not oil, that this is a breather hose rather than a vent or a vent, a vent hose rather than the hose that's coming out of here for the, uh, you know, circulating the blow by into the catch can and then taking it into the catch can and putting the clean air and dumping it after the throttle body into the, the manifold or, uh, you know, into this area, which is then going into the intake valves. So with that said, I mean, you can take from this what you want. Um, I mean, it's pretty clear the evidence um, that I've seen here. I mean, if you're gonna just buy another catch can and it's got this, you wanna pay the extra money for the extra can or the extra hose or the extra cost just to be precautionary that there's no oil flowing out of that, then, you know, by all means, go ahead. You know, who's, who's to keep you from doing that? But if you already have a catch can set up and you've gotten your eyes set on that you've been deceived and, and there's oil coming out of here and you feel like you're neglecting your motor even though I've showed you that it's not um, and you feel like you just need to go buy another catch can then I, you know, I, all, all more power to you. But um, there is no need from what I see to uh, hook that up to the other side and that is uh, proven when I called Mishimoto and I asked them um, about this whole scenario and they said during their whole testing because they test their product that they saw no oil being coming out of that and being sucked into the turbo or if it is it's 0.005 or 0.010 it's so small that you can't measure it which indeed would not be harmful to the turbo or the intake uh, you know or these intercoolers or the throttle bodies so with that said um, I'm just not seeing any any oil. Alright, well thanks for tuning in, um, always testing things to see if it's truthful, uh, or if it's a need, or if there's factual. Um, yeah, if you like my video, like and subscribe, um, just keep continuing to check back with me and I always post, I try to post helpful things to help the community out and, uh, you know, and grow my knowledge too, you know. Um, you don't know until you try it or you test it and see if it works or it doesn't work, uh, you know, rather than just taking someone's uh, word for it, you know, and buying into, you know, the Kool-Aid, you know, do some testing. All right, have a good day.